Okay, let's see what you came up with for Lab 6B. We have to put in that second argument and maybe even catch it if it doesn't exist. So you can use the same function with a little more functionality. Pardon the pun. Okay, let's take a look at what I came up with. Again, similar documentation, only now I'm saying let's supply a limit where it's an integer greater than zero. Here is my list records. There's the table name. There's the limit. And similar to before, declare the array, get my glide record going. Now check this out. I've got if limit that says, do you have a limit? Is it defined? Is it not null? Is it good? Is it valid information? If it is and the limit is greater than zero, then I am going to use it. Because if I didn't specify, you don't just want to willy-nilly just say, run recgr.setLimit on whatever the limit was passed in. They could have passed in something crazy, and that wouldn't have worked. If it wasn't valid, don't use it and just get all the records. Otherwise, I will use it and I will limit it, and we will test this. So now, instead of just saying list records incident, I'm going to say list record incident comma 10. Join those together. Let's see what happens. I run that and I get 10 records. What happens if I say problem five, same function, different functionality, same reusable chunk of code to list out the records, looks great. Now let's have some real fun and say, oops, forgot the second parameter. It says, that's fine with me. I'm just going to list them all. What if I said this and true? <laughs> it's going to say, that's fine, you get one. Okay, It used something in there and it said, well, true is, is actually a one. True has a value. In JavaScript, true is one and false is zero. So remember our Boolean truly, truthy falsy from way back in whatever it was, lesson three, four, something like that, when we had variable types? That's what actually got used there. If I said, hello, is that going to return me anything? It's going to get all records. It says, hello, that's not, you know, you're not greater than zero. You didn't do it right. So you get everything. So I've got a little way of catching that. That's my solution. I look forward to hearing what yours is, or if you come up with a different, uh, different way of winding this thing, getting it to work, challenge yourself, experiment, grow on that, add an add query in there, see if you can pass parameters in. Glide record, looping, arrays, very common operations that I want you to get comfortable with. So that's the purpose of this exercise. And I will look, I look forward to talking to you about the next topic, more complex data structures. Stick with us. Hope to see you there.